All right, so we get to choose this time what numbers we're going to put in for x. And by the way, this is the third video lesson for section 3.2. And I'm going to choose easy numbers like negative 1, 0, and 1. And then we will substitute each of these in. Negative 2 times negative 1 plus 7. So that's going to be 2 plus 7, which is 9. And then y equals negative 2 times 0 plus 7. So that just means 0 plus 7, which is 7. And then, of course, I'm going to put in the 1. Negative 2 times 1 plus 7. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5. Now, we're going to put each one of these on the graph. So at negative 1, I'm going to graph a 9. 0, 7, and 1, 5. And then, of course, we're going to draw the line. Whoops, I erased more than I wanted to there. Draw the line that goes through all three of these. Remember to put arrows on both ends because these keep going in both directions. My line's a little crooked. We're going to pretend like it's straight. Next. Oh, I forgot to mention this part. Uh, the helpful hint. When the equations solve for y, it's easier to choose x values, and you saw that I did that, and when it solved for x, it would be easier to choose y values, and that's just a helpful hint. You'll see that again on another slide or two. Now this says y equals 5, and this one's a little tricky. Um, basically, all I can do is say, hmm, so y equals 5. y is always 5, and you know what? x can be anything. So let's just say x is negative 2, and it's 0, and 2. So you see that I can't really put the x's in there. This is actually a horizontal line. y is always 5. x will just be anything. I don't really have to graph these points. I can just draw the line. But this is something you'll be learning. So when it just says y equals a number, that is a horizontal line on the graph. And we also have vertical lines, so we'll see those at some point. So here's that helpful hint again. This time my equation is solved for x, so that means I want to choose some y's. And once again, I'm going to pick some easy numbers, like negative 1, 0, and 1. So x is equal to negative 5 times, times y. So we're going to have negative 5 times negative 1, negative 5 times 0, and negative 5 times 1. So on the first one you can see negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. Negative 5 times 0 is, right, that one was a 5. Negative 5 times 0 is a 0. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. And then I can graph these ordered pairs. So I have an ordered pair at 5, negative 1. Remember, we always go to the x-coordinate first and then to the y. We have a 1 at 0, 0, and then also 1 at negative 5, 1. And then we will draw the line that connects these three points. Whoops, I missed a little bit there. I'm still trying to use a ruler here on my screen. It's a little slippery. <laughs> it slides around when I'm trying to draw this. I don't think there's really just a great way to do this. Hey, I'm just going to make this point a little bigger, and we'll pretend like it's going through the right spot. All right, so there we go. That's another line that we have graphed. Okay, now we're going to choose our <laughs> we're going to choose our x's on this one, but this is important. Whatever I choose needs to be divisible by 4, or 0. 0 works fine. Okay, so I'm going to choose negative 4, 0, and 4. The reason I want to do this is because this is going to give me nice ordered pairs where I don't have any uh, fractions. So 1 half times negative 4 is negative 2. So this is negative 2, negative 2 minus 3. So that answers negative 5, that y. y equals, um, 
I just noticed that I wrote that as a one half and that is a one fourth. Let's try this again. I'm just doing this like I would in the classroom when I make silly errors like that. So one fourth times negative four is negative one. Negative one minus three is negative four. You guys are doing the same thing my students do. Hey, why did you write one half? Okay, I was supposed to write one fourth. That's what happened. All right, so one fourth times zero minus three. So that would be zero minus three, which is negative three. And then last we have one fourth. Now I'm trying to write one half again. One fourth times four minus three. One fourth of four is one. One minus three is negative two. Okay. So I'm going to graph these ordered pairs. I have a negative 4, negative 4, 0, negative 3, and 4, negative 2. All right, and so then we just connect those, right? They need to have a line because we are graphing lines, right? Oh, it didn't turn out too bad. Put your arrows and we have that graphed. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video and there'll be one more for this lesson.